This is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the very wet off-grid project. What is the most plentiful creature in the world, at least in the forest and the mountains? Um, many people would think a lot of different things. Uh, let's say bigger than bacteria or microscopic size. Well, I think it's snow fleas. These little black dots, let me see if I can focus. There they are. There must be billions of snow fleas. You have to move slowly because of the zoomed camera. Let me sh just show you another area here. These are little creatures that look like fleas. I showed them last year and they jump like fleas. And the first time I ever saw them, I was sitting in the snow having lunch in the middle of a mountain hike with a friend. And I saw these little creatures and I thought, whoa, that looks like fleas. And they were hopping around us and getting closer and closer to us and filling our footprints. And we freaked out and left. And then I looked them up. And literally I typed in, funny enough, the words snow fleas and found out that's literally what they're called. I think they're called springtails. A family of springtails. And they are... They have a form of antifreeze in their bodies. And they love the snow. But it's mind-blowing how plentiful they are in the forest floor. I am going to zoom out so I don't make you sick and just show you how many they're everywhere it is insane how many there are I can't believe it everywhere I go everywhere I look the forest floor is covered with these little creatures it's just amazing Look at them. Just mind blowing the masses of them. And everywhere you go, everywhere through the forest, you will find them all over the ground. Now they tend to congregate in groups, so here it's a little bit thinner, but they're still here. I can see them. They're hopping all over the place. I can't believe it. I just can't believe the numbers of snow fleas there are in the woods. It is just mind-blowing everywhere you look. Oh, there's a creature been running through here. Must be a squirrel, I'm guessing. It's just absolutely mind-blowing the numbers. Let me see if I can find a congregation of them. I'll pause the camera. Here's an example of how they love to fill your footprints after you've passed by. And that's what was freaking out my friend and I when we were in the forest that time. They were actually filling our footprints wherever we were and wherever we had stepped. I don't know what it is or why. If they like the hollows in the low spots or if they like the warmth or the smell you left behind. Interesting little creatures. I just can't believe the numbers of them. Now that I know that they're harmless and they're not really fleas, but just a family of springtails, just a harmless insect that eats, I think it's a form of algae or something on the surface of the snow that they really love. So... They don't bother me. They're cute. Where's my hand? They're sort of cute. And yes, they're covering my hand. And they're absolutely harmless. Actually, I think they like the warmth. 
if I held my hand down there, it'll probably be covered. Well, interesting winter fact. Snow fleas. <laughs>